we know Morozik's contribution as a hurricane. Ajo twice now has gone to that high glove vicinity. Keep an eye on his location. Anxious with speed. We put the shot against his countrymen and a chest save there for Morozik. Swatted to safety, but Kane's keeping it. Bunning tries to go short side, and Morozik has the answer there. Bedard to the rebound. Less than a minute left of five on three. Blackhawks still in possession. Bedard with the puck. And across, Martin scoots across and makes the big save. Chicago works it around. Dickinson with it. Working. Brought in front and a good stick by Orlov. And Martin might have gotten a piece too on Ryan Donato. He'll win it back clean for Orlov. Good win by Drury. And across for Pesci. Behind the net it goes. Bunting. He'll return it back for Natchez. It'll bounce off the Chicago net out in front. Bunting, they score! What a set from Marty Natchez and the backhand finish from Bunny. Find the tape to Morozik choosing to cover the pucks with the other side of the red line. So it's like an icing play. Drury wins it clean on the draw. You go to work on the four check. Whether it be Koki Niemi, Spetsnikov, or now Natchez, the Hurricanes have thrived below the goal line behind the Chicago net here in the first period. Beautiful pass to Bunting who gets separation on Johnson and the backhand does the rest. Go all the way back. Oh, yes, for Foss set up beautifully by Svechnikov and Ajo. It was a long shift for Foss. I think he was tired. That led to fanning on that puck on his offside. Now a steal. Natchez, he scores! He gets one past his countrymen, Carolina. Up to nothing. Well, Morozik, when he was a hurricane, affectionately named Marty Natchez Jr. Well, there's nothing junior about this high finish to beat his buddy, one side high. What a pitch from D'Angelo back in the lineup. And the abil ability to tiptoe through the tulips in the hard areas from Natchez to eventually shift this thing like he's at Augusta National on Sunday, high on the glove side. And Aces has got to love that. Excellent pitch from D'Angelo. Aces will take the puck away from Kaczynski. He got Kokinami with a shot. And that goes just wide. Now Tara Vinen back across the ice. Orlov. Kokinami settles it down. He scores! The drought's over. Yes, Barry Kokinami makes it 3 0. Smile says it all. As he leads the charge after scoring along the bench. What a pass with pace from Orlov to Kokiniemi. He wanted to fire it quickly, but that pass had so much pace. Tabo to Orlov. Oh, Orlov zipped it. And he couldn't fire as quickly as he wanted because of the pace of the pass. Settled it. It hits the Chicago stick and goes end over end. Second goal in this period. Special to call. Trying to walk around to Nordy. Will turn. Play it. Aho comes out in front. He scores! Oh, that is beautiful. Sebastian Aho breaks a three game scoring drought. It's 4 0 Carolina. And I love after the interchange between Svechnikov and Aho that Aho knows the stuff chance is not going to work. He knows Morozik's there. So he knows that he has the real estate to hold on. Peter's thinking about the stuff. And Kane's all-star. After being held off the score sheet for three games. Back on it in a resounding way. Burns tries to clear. Kept in by Bedard. And they'll score. Foligno. Flings one on. And Martin can't catch it. And Chicago gets on the board. Late here in the second. By far the most deceptive shot in the game of hockey. You don't know when it's coming. And you don't know how to read it. Kurish up below the goal line. Heck of a pass from Connor Bedard. And I can guarantee you that Spencer Martin, he's got to fight through Slavin to locate it, doesn't know the backhand is coming until it either hits his glove or is well on its way to the net. Now Svechnikov behind the net. Back for Jarvis. Ajo's up top. 
Burns sends it across the rink for Jarvis. 30 seconds left on the power play. Ajo again, tees it up, save made, rebound, Burns scores! A power play goal! And Carolina goes up 5-1. to one. Power play puck movement was astoundingly good. With tremendous pace. Fire shot. Verazic thinks that that's not a loose rebound because he's actually putting it to a non-dangerous area. But Burns reads the tea leaves or maybe just right place, right time and buries it. Because that's not a loose read. Yeah, that's awesome. Great camera work. Yeah, that's excellent work. At 15.37, the puck cleared the zone. We have no goal. Backhand pass. He looks for Tenorti, and that gets through, and then behind the net it goes. Good pressure here by this Blackhawks group. Kurashev hanging on to it. Cycling gets it to Bedard. He scores! Usually, well, then when the puck was coming out as well, does this puck come out? That's offside. It's a beautiful exhibition of what Carolina Connor Bedard can do offensively, it but it's not going to be a goal. It could have been easy to do some things differently. The organization, the team, the coaching staff didn't. And now you take a look at how great, and that is a word that's overused, but how great the penalty kill has been for Carolina. Now Johnson behind the net. He drew the penalty. Kurtz out in front, and Bedard taps it home. Well, Chicago with good puck movement and Bedard on the empty side of the rink buries it great decision to play the puck up the ice and that led to Carolina not being able to cross traffic and convergence and deny entry and you have Johnson Kurashev and then the tap in from Bedard That's for Johnson now Jones with traffic out in front and Polino deflected it just wide Back to the point, the shot there by Jones finds Felino. He'll back end it across. Set up in front to score. Bedard moved it quickly to Tyler Johnson, and it's now 5-3 as Chicago has two power play goals. Spontaneous pass. Not a decision to shoot the puck by Connor Bedard. I mean, in real time, Kurashev back to the point. Puck retrieval from Felino. He knows where Bedard is. That's not a pass to nowhere. That is a pass to his right shooting umbrella flank. And Face off. As Stahl against Dickinson. Stahl pushes it back. Keynes will get to it. Martin up. Takes aim. Empty net. Bingo! Martin continues his scoring tear in 2024, and the Canes have a 6-3 lead. What a good gap from Burns. And then a nifty little play from Jarvis, who will get an assist. As Martin adds to his goal scoring output in alley oop style in 2024. For sixth all time in the organization scoring chart. He now has 418 points as he passed the O-Dog in Vegas. And a rousing ovation as the Canes take this one tonight 6-3.